All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'm gonna give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Makakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to the whole full elect. And Shalom, this is the brother Abijah with another edition of uh, Words of the Day. And the first word I'm gonna get is gonna be this word profane. Okay, this is the definition for profane. It says, relating or devoted to that which is not sacred or biblical, secular rather than religious. And some um, some synonyms. It says secular, non-religious, worldly, earthly, unhallowed. Okay, so, you no, know, it, it means unholy. Or ungodly, you no. Know? Profane. Okay, so to be worldly or to be earthly means to be carnal. All right. And it's not a it's not a good thing to be to be carnal. Romans eight and six says, "For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace." Let's look at and see what what carnally means in Romans. Okay, it says, this is in the blue letter definition. It says flesh. Uh, it says the body, the body of man used of natural or physical origin. It says the sensuous nature of man. Okay. It's putting, uh, you know, the spotlight, so to speak, on being fleshly okay being being carnally okay and you know being fleshly being worldly being earthly that's, that's all one in the same so, okay so to be carnal is to be worldly or fleshly you only thinking about the things that pertain to the flesh and not the things that pertain to the spirit as it said in, in this in the scripture to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace because to be spiritually minded is to be close to the heavenly father you know, but to be carnally minded, you know, the things in of this world, the, the things that are carnal, they're only temporary and they're, you know, they're they're wicked. The things that, that pertain to this world. That's this is why to be carnally minded is death, man, because if you're led by the flesh, you know, you're not gonna be uh doing things that pertain to righteousness, that pertain to pleasing the heavenly father. Alright, I just wanted to grab that real quick. Alright. And it says non-religious, which, you know, we're not religious. You know, this is you know, being a Hebrew Israelite is not a religion. It's it's our it's our heritage, okay? And ultimately it, it just means ungodly or or you know, unholy. Now what what does this word ungodly mean? It says uh, irreligious or immoral. Some some synonyms. It says blasphemous, godless, unholy, profane, uh, impious, wicked, sinful, devilish, fiendish. You know, so none. It's not. It's not a good thing, man. To be to be profane. You know. 
immoral. All right, let's, what's this word impious mean? It says not showing respect or reverence, especially for a god. Okay, yeah, that's that's being blasphemous, man. Let's lock you for these man, commercials. All right, it says it says not showing reverence or respect to a God, which really it's only one God, man. And his name is, you know, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. Okay. And it's a lot of people who are impious. They don't reverence the Lord because they don't fear the Lord. You know, and it's not enough fear in the earth. Yet, anyways. But, you know. You get these words in the uh, in in the etymology. Let's see what they say. Let me get profane first. It says desecrate or treat holy things with irreverence. Okay. What does it mean to desecrate? Let's look that word up. It don't sound too good. It says to treat a sacred place or thing with violent disrespect. To violate. You know, so it's... it's one thing to disrespect, but it's another thing to violent, violently and blatantly disrespect, you know? And, and you know, it's just a lot of, it's a lot of that going on, man. Especially when, it, for example, the, you know, the Lord's name, man. You have people who are desecrating uh, the Lord's name, the Lord's image, you know? They violently disrespected the Lord's name by, by you know, removing it. And, and making it some something that is something that is not calling that the Messiah uh, Jesus when his name is Yahweh Shah, you know, making his image as a a, a so-called white man with, with wavy hair and, and pale skin. You know, that that is that, that they desecrated the Lord's image. You know, they desecrated our heritage. They, they, they disrespected uh, the heritage of the Hebrew Israelites by. You know, breaking us down, putting us into slavery, and, and and taking our heritage. We know it's all, you know, it's all scriptural and prophetic. But nevertheless, they did it. It happened. All right, back to um, this etymology uh, definition. It says to desecrate, to render unholy, to violate. Okay, not consecrated. Consecrated. Yeah, that, you know, pretty that's pretty much it, man. It's wicked. You know, it's very disrespectful, basically. And let's you know who does that describe? Hebrews 12 and 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. Esau is the so-called Caucasian man. You know, the so-called white man who's really red. It says, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. That And that, that right there, that's disrespectful. You know, you getting uh, you know, a blessing that's, that's beyond, you know, fathomable. And you gave it you gave it away because you was hungry for for a morsel of meat and some lentils, you know. And the meat wasn't even done; it wasn't even cooked. But that's Esau for you. That's why I said, let lest there be any fornicator or profane person. You know, they're ungodly. They're the, they're an ungodly race, and they don't reverence the heavenly Father. The scriptures say the Most High is not in all His thoughts. Okay. Now let me get this last word. Impious. Come on. 
or the app wanna or the, or the website wanna act up on me now. It's all mad. That's all it is. I'm gonna try to get it from uh, Google. Haha, <laughs> it's all mad. <laughs> it's all good. I'm gonna try to do it again. Hey, don't be mad at me, Esau. The Lord made you that impious person. Yeah, okay, it says impious, ir irreligious, lacking reverence for the Most High, wicked, undutiful, unpatriotic. Yeah, they, they, they love to swear that they patriotic. They are they're patriotic people. Man, they are the, the, the farthest thing from being patriotic. This is uh, opposite of, you know, yeah. yeah, that's pretty much it, man, they're irrelevant, you know, irreverent, so like, they don't, they don't know how to reverence uh, the, the Heavenly Father, they think they are the Heavenly Father, they don't go by the same, the same rules we go by, which is the law, statutes, and commandments, you know, let me get that scripture, matter of fact, to, to prove it. No, and I'm gonna close it out after that. With a different kind of money comes a different kind of car. Uh, Psalms 10 and verse 4 it says, The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after the most high. Yeah, because they are they are ungodly, they're profane. It says the most high is not in all his thoughts. You know the Lord is the the farthest thing from their thoughts. They're they're worried about establishing their kingdom, and and you know, committing all forms of abominable wickedness in the earth, and and you know, making themselves gods. That's all they worried about. They're not worried about the true heavenly Father. Yeah, but I'm gonna leave it right there, man. Lord willing, it was it was edifying. You know, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Bakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to the hopeful elect. Salawam.